Tastes for vata do short of favor and avoid. Vata is pacified by the sweet, sour, and salty tastes and aggravated by the pungent, bitter, and astringent tastes. The knowledge of tastes is useful, because it helps you to follow a vata pacifying dart without having to remember what to eat, or to constantly refer to extensive lists of foods to favor and avoid. Best tastes for vata do sure. Sweet taste. The sweet taste is the foundation of a vata pacifying diet. It is the predominant taste in most of vata's staple foods. Sweet foods tend to be grounding, nourishing, strength building, and satisfying. Favor naturally sweet foods like fruits, most grains, root vegetables, milk, ghee, fresh yogurt, nuts, seeds, most oils. Emphasizing the sweet taste does not require us to eat large amounts of refined sugar or sugary sweet foods. In fact, doing so tends to exacerbate Vata's tendency to overexert and then crash. Sour Taste The sour taste is generally not the centerpiece of a meal, instead, it tends to complement and enliven other flavors. The sour taste awakens the mind and senses, improves digestion, promotes energy, moistens other foods, and eliminates excess wind. Favor sour additions like a squeeze of lemon or lime juice, a splash of vinegar, a side of kimchi or sauerkraut, a bowl of miso, a slice of cheese, or a dollop of sour cream. Sour fruits like green grapes, oranges, pineapple, and grapefruit are also appropriate when eaten alone, and in moderation. Salty Taste the salty taste is almost singularly derived from salt itself. But favoring the salty taste does not mean that your food should taste as if it's being cured. In fact, salt is already overemphasized in the typical Western diet. Simply being mindful of including savory flavors and ensuring that your food has some salt in it will likely be sufficient. Salt stimulates the appetite and digestion, helps retain moisture supports proper elimination, and improves the flavor of many foods. Minimize the following tastes. Pungent taste. The pungent taste is hot, dry and light, too much of it is extremely drying to the system, exacerbates the rough quality, and therefore disturbs vata. Pungent is a spicy, hot flavor like that found in chilies, radishes, turnips, raw onions, and many spices. You can use it in moderation, since most spices are actually vata pacifying. Bitter taste. The bitter taste predominates bitter greens, like kale, dandelion greens, collard greens, etc., and is also found in foods like bitter melon, Jerusalem artichokes, burdock root, eggplant, and chocolate. The bitter taste is cooling, rough, drying, light, and generally reducing all qualities that tend to aggravate vata. Astringent taste. The astringent taste is basically a flavor of dryness, a chalky taste that dries the mouth and may cause it to contract, picture biting into a very green banana. Legumes are classically astringent in taste, adzuki beans, black-eyed peas, pinto beans, soy beans, etc. The astringent taste is also found in some fruits vegetables, grains, and baked goods, things like apples, cranberries, pomegranate, artichokes, broccoli, cauliflower, lettuce, rye, rice cakes and crackers. The astringent taste is dry, cold, heavy and rough in nature and so understandably aggravates vata. So what should I do with all these tastes? If your predominant dosha is vata, then consume more foods that are sweet sour and salty in taste, and minimize those of pungent, bitter and astringent taste. In this way you will be able to recognize what foods are better for you, and also those that can aggravate your vata 